What's up, everyone? It is December 3rd, Vlogmas Behind the Scenes. Just got done filming one video. It is just about 11. I'm trying to film two more videos today since I'm still getting over a head cold. But yesterday I didn't film anything. Yesterday was December 2nd. Thankfully, I filmed something on Sunday. That was the first day of Vlogmas. Whatever. Yeah, day one Vlogmas. So just filmed my video. Let me show you. Pretty dark in here. I had this light on actually. Let's go ahead and turn this light on because I'm filming this with a pocket camera. But yeah, this is um, this was a setup. Was doing it on just some shoes. Had the camera right here. This is the Sony A7S III with a 20 millimeter lens, ECM B1M mic. I know I talked about how you shouldn't use this microphone, but I just found when it comes to speed. Throw it in there and it just works. Right now what I got to do is the camera is just cooling off, not that it overheats. We're going to open the battery door, go over here to our messy desk, put a battery over here. All right, now we got the battery in there. It looks like this camera is still on. It they power off after a couple of minutes. So we're going to go ahead. I always film do record, dual recording, simultaneous recording. It's something I just like to do. And it might be might be a lot of work to just constantly manage both SD cards, but I'd rather do that than be filming for an hour and then one of the SD cards ends up corrupting and then I just um, SOL basically, we don't need face track. It's also the reason why I got the A7S3. Before the A7S3, I was using the Sony ZV-E1, which is a neat little camera. I think it's just a little bit too, it's just a bit too toy-like. I don't know, it's, the A7S3 is definitely a, a nicer camera overall. But this one worked out good, but that single card slot, not something that I was really very psyched about. I just, I had to make sure that the audio was picking up over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to plug this in, Does it show up. Yeah, it showed up over here. Go ahead, find, here was the land in Capto boot and import it. And what is that? What's it going to be? Estimated time, uh, two minutes. So we gotta, we got to chill for two minutes right here and disable face track. I mentioned in my video I just filmed, I found a hole in my sweater. I'm not really psyched about that. I'll try to, I'll try to go ahead and, um, and stitch it up or I'll take it to a seamstress, but it does seem like it's a pretty decent hole. I don't know what the hell happened with it. Kind of upset about it. I don't really, really wear these sweaters a lot. I want to wear them a lot just because they're super nice in the winter time. But it is what it is. I think I ordered a new one from J. Crew. They're currently, I don't know, $40, something like that. But yeah, we just gotta wait for this. Only reason I'm doing this is I just wanna make sure that the audio is good and everything is good. What I used to do is I would sit here and sit, sit on my ass basically and edit for an hour, and then I would lose all momentum. I wouldn't film any other videos. But I just want to make sure that the audio didn't screw me over since using these ECM microphones, they, they have that hot shoe right there. What ends up happening sometimes is the camera, if you don't record in the Sony cameras, it'll turn off after, let's say, 30 seconds to a minute, which, again, can save your ass because if you're talking to the camera for an hour and not recording, that sucks. But what happens is when they turn off and turn back on, sometimes it loses connection. And there are certain things that you can do like you can look in the function menu and make sure the audio settings are grayed out. And you could also obviously just look at the audio bars and see that they're moving. But that's definitely screwed me before where the hot shoe microphones, not just the Sony ones, I have ones for my DJI as well. It, uh, it just loses it and it screwed me over before. So I'd rather find that out now than have to find it out tomorrow and then have to put on the same outfit and get in the same headspace that I was. So it looks like we're good right here. Let's go ahead and I don't know if I can put you down right here so that I can use two hands. Don't really have the best setup right now. We're just doing what we got to do to get this done. 
Gonna import that. Go back it up. That'd be a good thumbnail, right? Just nah. Right. There's a thumbnail right here. Discuss these boots. I sold just. That's good. I wasn't talking right there. See how the audio gets super small right there? But I wasn't talking. I was just moving shit around, setting up the shot. So why did I buy these? Good. Fucking leather. That means good. And together. Good. 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 Like this. Well, everything sounds good. I didn't cap that. Awesome. Check them out. And as always, thanks for watching. Always, 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 always. So yeah, don't don't let audio. Don't let audio. F I'm not really much of a cursor. I have no problem with cursing. I just don't really do it that much. Don't let audio screw you over. It's definitely happened to me. It's something you want to make sure you got right. You can fix exposure. You can fix. You can fix a lot of things, but audio and super shaky video is not. You can even fix if it's if it's crooked. People will watch crooked videos versus you know if the audio just. So it sounds amazing and all of a sudden it sounds like you're like this. It sounds like you're underwater. That's how some of these internal camera microphones sound. So this is all good. We are not going to procrastinate. We are going to keep on making videos. Have to remember to, we take this out. Computer's going to yell at us because I just don't do the, I just, speaking of audio, I think I was just holding the, holding the camera accidentally by the, by the uh, microphone, hold on, sneeze. Speaking of, I don't know what we were speaking of. I don't I don't eject my discs. I just go ahead and pop them out and it always says, disc not ejected properly. I don't care anymore. Got to put it in and we got to, we can't, we, we, we got to stop saying got to all the time because it's laziness. We are going to put this into the camera because I simultaneously record and see if we can get two more videos filmed today and leave the editing for the next day. So I will see you in hopefully a few hours with the progress. All right, just finished filming the third video for today. One thing that I noticed when I start to film more than two videos, on my third video I stutter a lot more. I'm saying things a lot more. It's like I can only film three videos in one day, long form, which is crazy enough as it is, but hey, I, I like to push my limits. So now we've got to go ahead and take the camera off. One thing I want to mention is, I don't really see anyone talking about this, but when you are using your camera and you have the screen open, if you drop it in a certain way, this screen could shear straight off. So anytime I have this screen open, I always try to make sure that I have the wrist strap around my hand because if I bump into something and then boom, there we go, it catches it. A little bit crazy. I don't know if I made anyone nervous for that. And if I'm moving the camera around, I just close the screen. I do have a screen protector right here. These aren't really designed to be dropped, but I've dropped my ZVE one a couple of times. As long as the screen is closed, not an issue. I mean, you don't want to, again, you don't want to drop it, but my main concern is that screen. So just something I wanted to share, just since every time I move it, I put my wrist strap around. We're going to go ahead and close the screen. And I've got a open up my SD cards, drop one SD card. It's okay, we're, we're done recording on this camera. Uh, yeah, now we gotta go ahead and go over here and put it into the, put it into the computer. Make sure we don't have to do any extra, do any extra filming, make sure the audio is all set. And we should be good to go. And this is actually the fourth video. Hold on, I got a cough. What was that video named? Winter Jackets? Jacket Collection. I forgot to close the blinds. Makes the image look a bit better. See? A little bit better. All right, we gotta, we gotta look at... All right, it's gonna take two minutes. One thing, I just forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say oh I was uh, I'm just about getting over my cold 
which I'm very happy about. That was that was the most annoying cold I've had in a long time. I just had a bunch of pressure up here. It just wasn't fun. But yeah, psyched. I got three videos done. Still have to edit them. So I should say I got three videos filmed, and this is the fourth video. So uh, we'll have to see how you guys like this. And if if you enjoy these types of videos, I'll keep making them. Vlogmas for me is just all about giving more urgency and just forcing yourself to create. And it's 2 p.m. right now, and I have four videos filmed already. I've never done that in my entire year of doing this videography YouTube thing full time. So you could definitely do it. Mind you, these are simple videos. I already had them scripted. Scripted. My scripts are not very literal. It's just a scripted intro sometimes and a bullet point. Um, not a lot of B-roll either. Light editing. Cutting out the uhs. Cutting out the stuttering. But leaving some of the stuttering in sometimes. It's more authentic. So you could definitely do it. Um, if you're like me, I like speed. You know, I like to go as fast as I can and see how fast I can go. Because... You know, in a time of crisis, you you have to think fast and you got to make a decision fast. It's kind of what I found myself doing today. I wanted to make film three, a film three and decided to make a behind the scenes. So all right, I'm going to let this cook. I got to make sure that the audio looks all good or yeah, it looks all good. And then might do some editing later tonight. So I still have to get a video or I would like to get a video out tonight, but it's OK if we we get it by tomorrow it's not a big deal i'm not gonna stress out about it like i said in my first first day of vlogmas so yeah glad you're here hope you're enjoying it and uh you know probably see you tomorrow and thanks for watching